A few days ago, Call of Duty posted a blog about Warzone 2 in case you were someone that missed the Call of Duty next event and to fill in some of those missing kind of gaps. The official release for Warzone 2 will be November 16th. They announced that this is the biggest map they've ever made and this is only the first part of the Intel drop with more to come throughout the days leading up to Warzone 2. One of the biggest things people are finally excited about is the water mechanics the game is going to have. This is going to mix up gunfights a lot. You can actually swim in the water, you can shoot under the water with your pistol, and you'll have vehicles you can fight from in the water as well. There's tons of rivers throughout the map, some lakes, and you can actually use the vehicles on the outskirts and along the ocean. It says there's over a dozen unique vehicles in the game. This includes the tactical vehicle, the UTV, the light tank, heavy chopper, and the rigged inflatable boat, just to name a few. And what's interesting is you can now run out of fuel for vehicles. So you actually have to go to a gas station to refuel if you want to run around the vehicle the entire match. And another problem that's kind of hidden is you can climb or drop onto vehicles, damage the tires or doors, and shoot out the windows. To me, this is going to make vehicle combat a lot more important in the game and a lot more fun instead of just relying on gun skills. One of the biggest changes coming is how you loot the items you can hold in the buy station. From what I saw in the next event, it looks like a satchel will give you three plates, otherwise you'll have two. You have a backpack that you can store extra items in that if you don't want to use right away, you can store them and then swap them out. Obviously, I didn't get to play the alpha version of Warzone 2, so I'm not totally sure how all of that's going to work. So a rundown of some of the things you can do at the buy station. Obviously, you can still buy your teammate back if they go and lose their gulag. You can still buy gas masks, killstreaks, armor, and some more things. Apparently, some items are on a limited basis, so if too many people buy them, they're going to be gone. One of the biggest things is there's not a full loadout drop. Instead, prior to the match, your main preparation is focused on creating a number of custom weapons for your next match in Almazra. And it goes on to say, you purchase these custom weapons from here. Note, this takes place of a full loadout, your primary, secondary, tactical, and lethal, as well as perks. And it goes on to say, custom weapons are constructed in the gunsmith and then brought here. They take up your weapon slots. Tacticals and lethals are very common ground loot. Perks will not be, not, 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 not be available in Call of Duty Warzone 2 at launch. To me, it kind of seems like this is going to change up your gameplay a lot. One of the huge surprises of the circle collapse is that we got a preview if you did watch the Warzone next event. The circle can actually split into multiple circles. Those will all shrink and then finally converge into one circle when it gets later in the match. And from what I saw during the event, after the circle split, it'll give you two bits of information. The first being how many squads and people are left in your individual circle, and the second being how many squads and people are left in the entire lobby. In my opinion, this greatly increases the strategy level used because one of those final circles actually converge. Not only do you have to keep in the guys in your circle, but the approaching circle as well. There's also huge changes coming to the Gulag. They hinted that they were trying different things, but for now, it's a 2v2 gulag instead of 1v1. If your team wins, both of you redeploy. And for now, instead of like capturing a neutral flag, there's a jailer AI guy. If you kill him, he drops a key. If you get the key, you can escape without having to kill anyone. One of the biggest things to worry about is the amount of AI they put in the alpha version of Warzone 2. They make it sound like the AI are actually defending strongholds rather than actually going around trying to kill players. And these strongholds will be identified around the map. So if you want to take one of them out, it's kind of like a risk type reward situation. The risk obviously is getting third party on our team, but the reward is getting a ton of loot and a way to get your own weapon from the buy station. The new DMZ mode is kind of like Tarkov, but there's not that much information about it, so I'm not totally sure. But they're going to drop more intel the closer we get to launch. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about new stuff. Hopefully it goes well, but we got to keep in mind Warzone was not perfect when it first launched.